Okay, and in this example, we're going to create a little program that lets the user enter their first name and surname into two text boxes. They will then click a button, and then a message box will pop up on the screen. So the first thing we need to do is create the form. So we need to add in our different components. So we're going to add a text box, for the first name, another text box for the surname. We also need to add a button below it. And to make your program easier to use, we need to add some labels. So I'm going to just drag one label in here. I'm going to just start changing the writing on that. Let's just say first name. So we've now got the first name. I'm going to realign that. I hold down control and I can copy what I've got. Align that. And change that one to surname. So now you can see the text that's changed on the side. Now, we've got our two text boxes. At the moment, the names of these are just text box one and text box two. Not that useful. So I'm going to go down to the design section, get rid of text box one, call it text, first name, note, I've got no spaces, and I'm using capital letters for each new word. Let's do the same for the surname, except this time, give it an appropriate name, let's call it text surname. That's done. Now the button, I'm going to resize that so it fits in a bit nicer. And let's change the writing on that. So I'm going to go up to the text. Change that. Let's call this combine names. So we'll make that a little bit bigger so we can see everything. Now I want to also actually go back and change the editing of this. So go back to design. Button. Note for each of the types I'm leaving like a little code at the start. So BTN for button. No, txt for text. So I've got button combine, text first name, text surname. So now to add the code, I'm going to double click on combine names. This is where the code goes in. I need to create a variable which is going to store the person's first name and their surname. So to declare a variable, we write the keyword dim, give it a variable name, whole name because that's what it's going to store as, and we give a type. So string is what we use for text. Now, it's got a little wiggly line under it. That's basically saying we haven't used it yet. So I'm going to store something in there. I'm going to write whole name is assigned to, use the equal symbol, and that means we're going to store whatever's on the right-hand side of the equal sign in the variable whole name. Now I'm going to put the name with the text box. That gets us the whole text box. And I'm going to put dot text to get the writing on it. Join it together, it's the ampersand symbol, and text surname dot text as well. That combines it. Now to make that pop up on the screen, I'm going to use a message box, like we've used before. Message box, open bracket. Now normally in the past, we've had speech marks for our message. But because we're giving it a variable, we can just write the name of the variable. So I'm just going to write whole name. And now, if we run this, clicking the start button or pressing F5, the program's come up. I can enter my first name and the surname, combine names, and it's written the two. I've got a little problem. There's no space between them. So in order to fix that, after that first ampersand, we can write a string with a space in it. So speech mark, sp space, speech mark, and another ampersand to join them. So I'm getting the first name and adding a space on and then adding the surname. So now if I run this, James Dean, there should now be a space between the two. So that is now a completed example. Now, have a go. Remember, every time you want to change the writing on a label or a text box, we use dot text to get it.